Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to cast or mirror your Android phone screen on your Windows 11 operating system, using free application and also a third-party software which I usually use in this channel. Before in Windows 11, first let's see how we can cast in Windows 10. We will use an existing application called Connect, you can search for this application as shown. Once you find it, just click on it to run the application. Once it running your computer name will be shown. Next is we need to start cast or mirror in the Android phone. Let's open your Android phone. Different device has different menu or option. In the setting menu of my phone there is cast option. In another device could be different name. It could be mirror share option. If you can't find the option to cast or mirror, don't worry. In the last part of this video I will show you how to cast using third party software easily and for free. So follow this video till the end. Okay, so let's just click the cast or mirror option menu on your Android. The desktop that is running the Connect application will be shown. We need to select it to start screen mirroring on that device. Now we can see our Android phone screen in the computer desktop. To stop mirroring, on your Android phone just click on the same option as we started, in my case it was the cast option. Ok after clicking, we can see the phone screen is no longer mirrored. So that's how we cast or mirror an Android phone screen on Windows 10, then what about Windows 11? Unlike Windows 10, on Windows 11 the Connect application is not yet available. Therefore we have to install it first. To do that, go to Setting. You can do search for Setting and then click this Setting menu. Or you can find Settings menu here. Click the Settings menu. We are in the system settings window, the left side you will see apps option. Just click on it. And then select optional feature. We need to add wireless display feature. We couldn't find it listed in the installed feature here. Let's click on this view features button. On this add an optional features, let's search for wireless display. Once we see it, just click the checkbox and then click Next. And click Install. The installation will take a while. We should wait it until it's completed. Once done, we will be able to see the wireless display feature listed in the installed features. We can see wireless display feature is listed in the installed features. So now we should be able to run the Connect app. So we should be able to find the Connect app. Just type Connect on this search entry. Let's run it to start screen mirroring. OK, it's active now. We can see our desktop name displayed. One more thing before we use the Connect app. 
Go back to searching, but now look for projection settings. So now we are in the projection setting. We can see here that some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC when you say OK, so let's set it up. We need to change this to Available Everywhere or Available Everywhere on Secure Network. I select Available Everywhere. For now, we'll leave the other parameters as they are. Our setup is done so we can just close this settings. After the Connect app is active the computer name will be shown. Next is we need to start Cast or Mirror in the Android phone. Let's open your Android phone. Different Android device has different menu or option. In the setting menu of my phone there is Cast option. In another device could be different name. It could be Mirror Share option. Next we need to select the device. I chose Desktop U70D7GV which is on Windows 11. Once the device is selected correctly then we can see our Android phone screen in Windows 11. The connection is wireless, we do not need USB cable for this connection. OK, now we can see our Android phone screen in Windows 11. Press the Cast Option menu on your phone to disconnect. Here I am using Android version 13, Mirror app requires Android 5.0 or higher. If you are having trouble finding the option to cast or mirror, in the following section I will show how we can more easily screen mirror using third-party software to screen mirror for free. In this section I will show how we can screen mirror an Android or iPhone mobile phone to a Windows or Mac OS computer. The name of the application is App or Mirror. App or Mirror is a screen mirroring application which works for both Windows and Mac. Stream videos from phone to PC. Real-time screen mirroring for mobile games, etc. Okay, let's download it. We need to install it both on your computer and your mobile phone. You can search a power mirror like this or you can find the link in the description of this video. Click the App or Mirror official link after you are in the App or Mirror website click download so that it will be downloaded to your computer. After the download completed we can just run it to install. In Windows click this to run. You may change the language and install folder but I will keep it as it is. To continue just click install now. OK, installation is in progress. OK installation on my computer is completed. Let's open it. We can see here three options, we can use this to mirror Android or iOS or TV. I choose Android, as instructed here we have to install a power mirror app in Android. So on your Android phone, go to Google Play and install it. Next click installed, then we can go to our Android phone. To install a Power Mirror app on our Android, let's open Play Store. Find a Power Mirror. In this search type a Power Mirror. 
After you find a power mirror from a PowerSoft, click Install. Click Open and agree to Term and Privacy. OK, a power mirror is active in our Android. Next, let's start by simply click on LocalCast. OK, we can see that search is in progress. OK, now the computer that is running the power mirror is found. Next, click on that desktop to mirror. In this option, let's select mirror phone to PC. OK, now back to the computer. This is what appears on the computer screen when we have not yet installed the Apower Mirror app on Android. Now let's click on Connected Next. Once we select this computer in our Android then screen mirroring will start. We can see now the Android screen is visible on the computer screen. There is a time limit of 10 minutes for one connection, but there is no connection limit, so you can connect again after the 10 minutes have expired. But if this is a hassle, you can upgrade to the VIP version. OK, so this is how we can mirror our Android phone screen to our computer screen. I prefer using a power mirror rather than the Connect application, apart from the better appearance and many features available. On this occasion we haven't seen the features in full, maybe next time in another video. What do you think? Thank you for watching this video until the end, I hope it's useful. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.